Hi, this is Lynette from Kits and Bits. In this video, we're going to look at paragraph basics. Uh, most people use Word's default paragraph settings, but you can actually make quite a few changes yourself. I prefer to implement all of my paragraph settings into styles, uh, but for that, you'll need to watch this styles video. Uh, this one, we're just going to look at individual paragraph settings as you're moving through a document. So the first thing that you need to do is select uh, your text, and then you've got this little uh, group of controls uh, under the paragraph settings, but you can also expand that out using the little down arrow on the bottom right hand corner of that group. And this allows us to have a lot more control over our paragraph. Uh, so we've got the alignment, which most people are used to. You can also set that here. Uh, so we can change it to centered. Uh, indentation. You can indent entire sections of text. Uh, so we, while this uh, paragraph that I'm selecting is centered, I could also say that I want it to be two centimeters in from the left and two centimeters in from the right. And it will actually move that whole section of text in so that it actually has a bigger margin just on that paragraph than on the rest of the document. We also then have spacing before and after. This is particularly useful when you're dealing with headings and you want a bigger gap before a particular heading so that you, you can see the heading more clearly. You can also do it after to control uh, the gaps between paragraphs rather than always having to use an additional paragraph mark. So here we're going to change the before to 24 points and we'll see that that spreads out here. So there you go, we've got the larger margin. We've also got a bigger paragraph beforehand so it's giving me a bigger gap so even if I delete that paragraph mark there's still a bigger gap here than there is here. A couple of other things I want to show you in here so one is the uh, hanging or first line indent uh, so if I was to make a first line indent of two centimeters so this was often used uh, a long time ago to actually start a paragraph. Uh, it was always with the first line indented. Um, that's pretty uncommon these days. Uh, you can also do a hanging indent, which is important for bullets. So when you're dealing with bullets, um, they will automatically indent the first line. Uh, generally, they will line up, but if you wanted to change the bullet, um, you can change the hanging indent. So I can have the hanging indent as zero and it will bring it back to below the bullet. So you can have a play with those settings as well. Uh, we can also just play with indents here by increasing them and it will just skip them over. We can add underlines to paragraphs of text and we can also change line spacing. So this is really good if you are proofreading documents, uh, printed documents, and you want to be able to write notes in between them. Uh, this is a really good setting that you can use uh, before you print so that you've got lots of space to make notations in between your lines. So that's my short little video on paragraph basics. There are lots of other settings that you can use, but these are the ones that uh, a majority of people don't necessarily know about and can use more of to manage their documents. Okay, so if you want to learn more, please uh, stay tuned on my YouTube channel or sign up to my blog. Uh, I'd love to give you more information on how you can control your documents. Thanks.